Welcome back to the ranch. Today we continue on with the leaf spring project. Well, it's still a little cold. Um, it's probably the warmest day out of the week today, so I'm gonna try and chip away as much as I can uh, while I can. But we're gonna get moving on this thing. Project's gotta get done. I want this thing out of my driveway. So we are going to get this truck up in the air, take this front tire off, and replace these front leaf springs. If you are not caught up on the project, go ahead and click the info card box uh, you can watch the uh, update video that I did, kind of going through why I'm replacing the leaf springs. One side, the driver's side, was uh, snapped in half. So, uh, needless to say, that side needed done. But I ordered uh, both sets. Just, you, you know, do one side, might as well do the other. So, we are moving on to the passenger side now. And I'm going to take you guys along for the project just so you can take a gander or take a peek learn how to do it if you don't know how to do it otherwise you can just hang around and watch me even if you know how to do it that's fun isn't it so we'll get this thing up in the air and get that tire off so we can continue on now i'm not a plow guy but uh this plow bracket sure is nifty for getting the front end up in the air so for now I'm gonna leave this bracket on but my plan is as soon as I'm done with this project I'm hacking that thing off that's the whole reason why these leaf springs failed because they had a plow on the front all that weight just wreaks havoc on the leaf springs front suspension in general so pallies if you're looking to buy a truck and it's got a plow on it unless your intention is to use that truck for plowing uh, probably steer clear. Now, granted, I'm one to talk. I literally just bought this truck. I bought this truck, and uh, it had a plow on it, and I got it anyway, but expect the projects, you know? Um, you're going to have to, probably going to have to take care of the suspension if you're going to buy a truck with a head of plow on it. So just, you know, bear in mind. That's all. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Otherwise, nifty jacking thing. So if you watched the last episode, you'll know that these wheel studs and lug nuts are no friend of mine. Um, and I made the mistake of not uh, pre-soaking the lug nuts because I had some issues getting the other side off. A um, little, little tight, if you will. So we're going to... Give them a little schmutz treatment, and hopefully that's enough to do it. If it isn't, then I'm going to be replacing more wheel studs. <laughs> so, we'll see. I can also try a little bit of heat, but uh, we'll start with the schmutz. old pipe. That should work. That's all I want is to crack them. I have that impact, so I just want to just want to get them a little loose. No big deal. Let's just get a little loose. Let's get a little loose. A little loose. Come on. A little loose. That's all of them.
Don't yell at me, I know I need heavier jack stands. I know it. I'm working on it. Maybe. Use it as a safety net. Just in case, uh, just in case the truck falls on you, you know, it just gives a little something under there like a shim, you know. Alright, pretty much everything in this truck has been kissed by the salt of Ohio, so we're going to take our PB blaster and soak everything that's coming apart, uh, maybe even throw some PB blaster on parts that aren't coming off just for future use. And uh, then we'll go from there, we'll start ripping and tearing. All right, let's get going on this thing. Burning daylight. All right, what do we got going on here? I personally, I like to, whenever I'm working under something, you know, especially extra heavy you know like a big truck or something um, i'm not going to say cars aren't as important but those jack stands i'm not going to say what uh what their rating is but they're a little undersized so i like putting a thick wood block under me in a couple spots throw the tire under there just to give yourself the best chance at life you know safety i'm not really sure if it's OSHA approved by any means, but makes me feel a little better at least. Let's start turning wrenches. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start loosening the nuts and bolts that we got to loosen. Um, thing about these leaf springs is they, uh, they're never easy to get in and out just because the tension. So I'm going to loosen up all the bolts, um, which is really just... You got this one up here, okay, both sides. Then you got down here, you got your shock. We're gonna have to take all four bolts out of these U-bolts, okay, all four nuts out of these U-bolts. Take those up, slide the shock out of the way. That's a good time to see if your shock still has some gas in it. Uh, then we got this one over here. So this shackle here, see it? This shackle here, um, she typically swings out of the way. You can see, uh, see how it's bolted up there? And then down here is where it attaches to your leaf spring, you know? Um, so that'll swing out of the way, but you gotta make sure you're all loosened up, you know? So we'll loosen everything up, get the shock swanging. And then uh, hopefully we can pull that thing out. Usually you need like a pry bar or two. Getting it in is going to be a bear. It's always a fight. Lining everything up. But let's start loosening up and then we'll go from there. Alright, let's see what this thing is made of. This is what dreams are made of. Rusty crusty. Nope. So far, not really doing what I want it to do. Oh boy. We might need some heat up in this situation. Alright, you never want to take this stuff too far because you'll risk shearing bolts off. These things are pretty heavy, but I'm going to opt for the heat option. Um, Heat these things up, that way they're easier to come out, you know?
Get yourself a wife that knows how to cook and bake. Not that that's what women are meant to do by any means. Settle down now. But my wife knows how to cook, man. Mm. Banana, nut, muffin, bread with chocolate chips in it. Ooh. All right. Let's heat these things up. Hello. There it goes. Moses. He's really cooking. My recording, is this thing on? This thing on? see what that does huh maybe cool her off with some schmutz oh yeah how about now One down. Five, five to go. All right, I already heat this one up ahead of time. Ooh, a little poncho and lefty going in my ear right now. I already heat this one up ahead of time. You guys get the picture there. But this is what we're after. So, let's see if she comes loose. With the gun first, of course. You gotta test it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. far enough. Cool. All right, we're going to get those U-bolts off and then swing that shock out of the way and we should be able to drop this thing down. While I'm sitting right here, it's the same size. I'm going to loosen up the top of the shackle too. Um, well, at least I'm going to try. I'm not going to put too much effort into it. Just give it a little... And if it works, then cool and then I'll have a little bit more wiggle room you know yeah. oh yeah just to just to give me my gun back just to get it loose you know just get a little loose just get a little loose get a little loose come on all right now let's move on all right so these u-bolts are way too long so we're gonna hack them off real quick. Kind of an awkward spot to be in. I should lift the truck up a little further. I shouldn't have a camera sitting there. Blah, 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 blah. See how this goes. There's the one. How you doing, guy? Okay? <laughs> okay, those are hacked off. Emphasis on the hack. Uh, it's doing a little uh, no look jobby. I couldn't really see him, so one of them got a little short, but she'll work. So let's zip these things off and keep going. <sighs> this is great. Here we go. Maybe. That's oxygen. Dummy. Dummy.
trick I learned in Vietnam. Oh, he is on there. There we go. Oh. <sighs> Why were those harder than the shackles? Good Lord. I need to get inside to my wife. I'm out here doing this stupid stuff. Let's see if I can get one more turn on that. <sighs> I had water dripping on my glasses. Now that we've got these somewhat loose, I'm gonna take the grinder to them, clean up those threads a little bit, give myself the best chance of getting these off. They are on there, tough. A lot worse than the other side, if I'm being honest. All right, round two. Oh, I really did get whacked in the face. I was cleaning up the threads with the grinder and I felt a piece of rust come off and hit me in the face. I didn't think it was that. It was a pretty big chunk. Safety glasses, pallies. Safety. Round two. I'm gonna get to cranking again. <laughs> I got uh, got the rust cleaned up off the threads. They're a little bit broken loose, but not completely. So let's uh, see what I can do here. So I can go inside and go to bed, have some dinner, maybe a beer. All right, here's the deal. I got, these things are fighting me, like bad fighting me. I, the other side was not like this at all. Heating them up cherry red, drenching them down, heating them up cherry red, drenching them down. I cleaned up the threads with the wire, wire grinder. <sighs> Battle, fight. Uh, got all of them broken loose except one I got a little more work to do, but I banged my finner up right at the root of the nail. That never feels good. It's getting dark. I want to go inside and get some dinner. We're going to leave this here, pick up where we left off tomorrow. So, we'll see you then. Sometimes, for whatever reason, they need a little love and affection. Thing is, is this was supposed to be the easy part. So with that said, let's get to the hard part, even though, man, this took me two hours just to get these things off. Accumulated, <clears throat> plus all that time, you know, setting up the wine and everything. All right. We are burning daylight. I wasted a ton of time on those U-bolts. So we gotta get cooking here. 
Um, those are already loosened up, so we just gotta lift that shock up out of the place and we just gotta get moving, okay? bigger hammer it's funny the other side was broken but this side just seems a lot more crusty not sure what's going on there fighting me um, Every step of the way, not sure why. But uh, I'm gonna take out the backside. Maybe I could take that out and kind of shimmy her up and down. Maybe that'll loosen it up. The problem I'm having is that bolt is supposed to slide out and it is seized in there. So I'm gonna pull out the back, back shackle first. Maybe I can grab the leaf spring, move it up and down. Um, see if that works. Hopefully that one's not seized up too. See any luck? This is all ice down here, by the way. <sighs> Pro tip if you're doing this, make sure you put your nut on the end of your bolt so you don't round off the end of your bolt so you can get. You know, the nut back on. Still nothing. I have never in my life met a such a stubborn bolt. Did it work? Well, I think I am at the point now where I'm going to pull the shackle. And uh, I'm just looking up because the moon is coming out. I spent so much time on this side. It's unbelievable. So, I'm going to pull this shackle off, bring the leaf spring out, and see if I can get the thing loose on a bench top.
Well, there you have it. That's the most complicated way to do it. All right, good day. I was trying to make this video as relatable as possible. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna do that with the whole channel in general, but you saw me uh, putting the leaf spring and the hanger in a press, and that's how I ended up getting the bolt out. Not everyone has a press. I myself do not either. I just have access to one at work. But um, in the case that you are totally frozen up like that you can just hack off the bolt uh, basically take a grinder on the inside of the hanger zip the bolt off and then you can you know drop the drop the leaf spring from there and buy yourself a new bolt but I didn't want to buy myself a new bolt so I pressed it out cleaned up the threads real good I don't know if you can see that clean the threads up real good um, basically I have a tap and die set but this is a little bit too big for that set, a little Harbor Freight set. Um, so I just dripped a little bit of oil on it, um, ran, ran the nut up and down a few times and called it good, uh, and it cleaned up pretty well. So I did the same thing with, I did the same thing with the U-bolts. Um, just, you know, take a little oil dripper or just dip it in old oil or whatever you wanna do. Um, just get it lubricated run your nut up and down, that'll clean up the threads pretty well. Um, so that's what I did with these. And now we're good to go. So like I said, I worked ahead a little bit and uh, I got my hanger back on. So we are ready to slip that leaf spring in there. So we'll take you along for that process. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the bolt in the front first and then that'll leave, remember we have that shackle in the back that swings. So we'll have wiggle room there so hang the front and then we're going to take a ratchet strap and kind of draw um, our axle back and forth until we until everything drops into place and that's pretty much pretty much what we're doing here so let's get moving all right that's about right for the front i'm gonna put a little bit of grease on that bolt that goes through the bushing so it doesn't seize up like that again. Save the next guy a little bit of hassle. The other thing I didn't touch on, this bolt from the factory, if you are working with this era of Super Duty trucks, um, it comes in this way and then your nut comes on here, okay? I'm gonna flip it because I don't know why the factory did that, but you run into some issues if you're not dropping the hanger because your bolt won't come out. There's not enough, you know, there's too much length here, so it'll end up hitting the, the radiator and all that. So um, flip it, pallies. Give you a little more room to work with, all right? I'm gonna get a gauge here. How far I need to grease this. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong too. I mean, I don't know. I can't see why they put the bolt in that direction. But if you know otherwise, if there's a reason why they did that, let me know and I'll redo it. I'll flip them back around, but. I just don't see the reason. Good gracious! Stole one of my wife's to-go containers for my grease. Just a little dab will do ya. And we're just trying to keep it from seizing up again. Cool. Alright, let's throw this in there. The other thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of anti-seize 
Just a little dollop of anti seize in the nut. Do a dollop of daisy. That way this won't seize up too. Good, we'll leave that loose. Now for the fun part. We gotta line up the back end in the shackle, the hanger, and then uh, we gotta line up the leaf spring into the axle. So let's get cooking on that. Wow, this is actually spot on. I got a little lucky. It doesn't always do that, um, but that's the point of this swinging shackle is you can swing it in and out like I just did right there. Line her up and you should be good to go. So, another dollop of daisy. You know, not much, just enough to just enough to keep it from season up. That's that's all I'm looking for. Um this one obviously, since I have all this room, doesn't much matter which direction I go. There we go. Where's my rag? Oh, I left it up there. Okay, just a bit of anti seize on this nut. Thread that on, and we are good to go. All right, so for the last one, I had to draw the axle forward. For this one, I gotta go back. Uh, and kind of sideways so I'm gonna jack up the axle a little bit if you're doing this it's always gonna be different um, so you just got to play with it get some ratchet straps get your jack out get a pry bar just mess around with it till it drops in really that's all you're doing so here we go I do think I gotta bring it back a little bit, so ratchet strap. All right, now I'm centered. I think all I gotta do is maybe grab a wood block and a sledgehammer, because right now the, uh, well, let me show you. See the pin there? Right now, the hole, the hole, it just needs to slide a little bit that way. The hole is just off center there. So, thinking if I just take a wood block, set it here, tap it with the sledgehammer, it should drop in. Now, I have some pressure on the axle coming upwards. So, there's tension on the leaf springs right now. So, when it does find that hole, it should drop in. Another thing, too, that I did off camera that I didn't show you is make sure this hole that your nipple is dropping into is cleaned out if you don't then you're gonna have to you know it's not gonna seat all the way you're gonna have to take it apart and clean that hole back out so save yourself some heartache clean out that hole that's suspicious all right let's get to it Here it goes. All right, now you gotta line up your shock, throw your U-bolts on, and you're done. Okay. Throw a little anti-seize on these nuts. Okay. Let's go to Lucan by Texas. Willie and Whalen and the boys. Dollop, old dollop. Can't see, old dollop. Uno. Dos. Uh huh. To the basics of life. Hello. Doki. Run to the other side. Uh-huh. 
who was crying in the rain. Looking back, Texas. Feeling no pain. Okay. What a lengthy, lengthy process. Um, definitely ran into a bunch of roadblocks on this one that aren't necessarily typical. I mean, you'll get, you'll get, especially here in Ohio and other uh, salty states, you'll get some rust, uh, some bolts that are frozen up. That's pretty common. Um, to have a whole bolt stuck in a bushing like that to that degree, uh, I'm not going to say it isn't common, but uh, chances are you won't run into it. If you do, cut the thing off, move on, buy the part, move on. Um, in my situation here, I was able to, to get through the process without replacing any parts. Front leaf springs on a 2000, I think it should be like a, a 99 to 06 or 07, something like that. Front leaf springs, but they're all, they're all relatively the same. You know, it's a pretty simple part to replace. It's just, you know, it can be, it could be a hassle you know, depending on what, what uh, vehicle you're dealing with. So for those of you that are coming back, returning subscribers, I appreciate it. For those of you that aren't, go ahead and do me a favor and press that subscribe button for me. Uh, it really helps me out with what I'm doing. We're putting out videos every week. So with that, don't forget to grab that wrench, get after it. I'll see you next time.